hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to be flat ironing my hair you guys i have not flat ironed my hair in over a year today is august the 1st so the last time i flat ironed my hair was back in 2018 i think it was sometime in july so I decided I wanted to go ahead and flat iron my hair just to see how long my hair has grown because next month, September 1st, is going to make two years since I did the big chop. So I'm kind of curious as to how much length I actually have now. But I am not flat ironing my hair with just any regular flat iron. Today I am using the Maxi Glide RP. This is the flat iron I am going to be using. I ordered this directly from the Maxi Glide website. I will put that website down in the description box below. It comes in the box like this. Um, I'm not doing an in-depth review. This is sort of like a first impressions. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that will teach you how to use the Maxi Glide and they do in-depth reviews. I'm not doing all of that. This is just my first impressions video and I want to flat iron my hair. Alright, so as you can see, I did blow out my hair. A lot of videos I saw, I think they were doing, they were flat ironing their hair on like old twist outs and stuff like that. I'm sorry, when I flat iron my hair, my hair has to be clean and it has to be moisturized. I never, ever, ever flat iron my hair on dirty hair. I just, I can't do it. For my deep conditioner, because I really, really wanted to get moisture into my hair because I use heat when I blow it out and I'm also using heat while using this flat iron so I use TGIN's Honey Miracle Hair Mask and along with this I also use my Pewie Do. I also use this tool right here so I did do a video on it so if you want to see what my thoughts was because I did use these for the first time. So if you want to see what my thoughts were on that video and how my results turned out, I will link that video up in the, the not the description, I will link that video up in the cards above. I am not gonna talk, do all this talking. We just gonna go here and get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with water. I'm going to plug it up so it can start getting hot. I'm going to start out on 400 because I have very kinky hair and the last time I flat ironed my hair um, I didn't put it on 400 and it didn't come out so good so as you can see right here the numbers are rising and it is counting up to the temperature that I set it on so once it reaches that temperature then it will be ready for me to use so while I'm waiting for that to heat up I'm going to part my hair right down the middle I'm starting in the back and I will be looking this way most of the time because this is where I have my mirror and I have to have my mirror when I flat iron my hair. All right, so my temperature is almost there and I'm kind of nervous because like I said, I hadn't flat ironed my hair in over a year, a little over a year and uh, I'm scared of burning myself. <laughs> I don't really know how to use a flat iron anymore. So if you see a sister struggling, that's the reason why all right so we are at 400 we are at 400 and we are ready to go all right so yep you push the button and the steam comes out I don't know if y'all be able to see it probably not oh well I tried all right so because I do have thick hair I am going to be doing small sections because I want to make sure I get it straight and I'm not trying to be um constantly making a bunch of passes so i'm getting ready to turn this way but i'm still going to talk to you guys but i'm turning this way so i can see and so you all can see as well all right y'all i'm scared <laughs> i'm scared all right let's see so i'm going to put this right here i'm going to close it just a little bit and match the button and just go over it with the steam. Ooh. Y'all, that is so doggone soft. Oh my gosh, and that was just the steam only. Now I'm gonna actually 
flat iron it and of course if you see it smoking that's because I have heat protecting in my hair that's just the part of all right let's see Wow, and I was able to get to my roots. Awesome. Y'all ignore my kitchens. <laughs> that's what that's looking like. All right, so we're gonna do another piece. All right. Alright, so I'm just going to detangle it because you also want to make sure your hair is detangled. I heard a lot of people saying that you, if your hair is not detangled, it will get caught on the little pins. Alright, so I'm going back in with the steam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just flat iron my whole head because I know y'all don't want to sit here and watch me say, ooh, wow, while I'm flat ironing my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of it. And then when I get done, we'll come back and be amazed. Okay, y'all, I am back. And these are my results. I'm like, what? Do y'all see this hair? Like, I have not flat ironed my hair in a little over a year, okay? So this right here to get results like this from the Maxi Glide, I'm, I'm shook. And I still got a good bit of water in there. Can y'all see that? If I can get it to focus. See? I like I barely use any of the water for the steam. So I like this thing. I am no longer scared of a flat iron. Like, I did not burn myself. Also, I like the fact that it has the bottom part that can turn, so you don't have to keep untwisting the cord. So, I like that right there. This thing right here is awesome, y'all. I'm in love with this. And it also has a automatic turn off feature. Probably about 30, 30 to 35 minutes after using it, um, I looked down and it did turn off on its own, so I had to turn it back on and put it back on the temperature that I had it on. So, yeah, I like this thing. This was, like, truly worth the money. But I can say something was worth the money. This was worth the money, okay? But these are my results. My hair is so soft. Like, I wish you all could feel this. My hair is super soft. It's super moisturized and I do feel like I could have gotten it a little bit more straighter than what I did but I was scared to go over the 400 you know I'm not trying to risk I felt like if I went over 400 then I was going to be risking the possibility of heat damage so I'm not trying to give myself heat damage so I kept it on 400 but I do feel like I could have got it a little bit straighter. But this is good enough for my first time in over a year. I think this is good enough. This Maxi Glide did an awesome job. Hair is super soft, super lightweight. I mean, I am loving it, as you can tell. <laughs> but this is a 360. Like I 
like I said, I believe it's a little bit more longer than this if I could get it straighter, but this is good enough. But yeah, this is my hair straightened and I'm loving it. And I feel different because I'm so used to having my curls, so yeah. Overall, I love the Maxi Glide. I mean, it got good from the roots to my raggedy end. On a scale from one to five, I would have to give it a five star. I love it. I love this. So if you have not tried this Maxi Glide, try it. And I'm pretty sure this works just as good for um, relaxed hair as it does natural hair. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last because my hair is the type. It is not gonna stay straight for long. It will start reverting. Plus, I'm in Southeast Georgia. The humidity here is ridiculous. And we're supposed to get some rain. I know I picked kind of a bad time to flat iron my hair, but once I got my Maxi Glide in the mail, I was just, I was so anxious and ready to use it. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna last before it start get reverting back or if I get caught out in the rain or something. But anyways, you all, this is all I have for this video and this product. If you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go, turn on your notifications and share this video. And I will see you all in my next upload. You all have a wonderful night and the rest of your week. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I did not plan on coming back. But when I woke up this morning and I saw my hair, I decided to come back right quick and let you all see that my hair is trying to revert back already. So when I was telling you all yesterday that I could have got a little bit straighter, but I was scared to go up on the temperature, I should have went up on the temperature just a little bit because it is starting to revert back. I can feel my roots getting puffy. And if you can see right around here around the ends, it's trying to curl back up. So it is starting to look more like a blowout than actual flat iron. And also in the back, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit puffy back here as well especially down here around my ends they look like they're trying to curl back up so to be honest i do not think this is going to last throughout the weekend um and we're getting i told you all too that we're getting rain so it's actually kind of raining so of course there's moisture in the air so yeah this is probably not gonna last i think the next time i do this I'm going to go up on the temperature a little bit. That way I can get more of a better press and then maybe it will last a little bit longer. But that was all I come back to tell you. I'll be leaving to go to work in just a little bit. So um, you all have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day and you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.